Welcome to GDPG, or welcome back, really. I mean, if you're starting the series now, I feel like... Why? You should go back and watch, watch it all. Number one. Because it's awesome. Because Children of Morta is... Red Monster! I actually tried to dodge that time. Oh no. Kill him with the backstab. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, that was exactly... You got one. Well, I mean, still progress, right? Do you have a relic? No, you don't have a relic. I don't have a relic. Mm -hmm. uh, which yeah. is a, a little surprising. I feel like I find the use relics more often than the passive ones. It's also strange. Have you ever gotten, like, has it ever happened to where you would have got more than one use relic? I have, actually. What happens? You just replace it. You you put the old uh, one on, on the, whoop. On the pedestal. On the pedestal, and then you take the new one. And you can still swap them, which is nice. Um, it's, it's always one of the most dissatisfying things, though, is when you get two active use ones, and you're just like, man, I feel like this upgrade yeah. was wasted. It's kind of, and in that regard, it reminds me a bit of Binding of Isaac. Yeah. Because it, it was one of those things where you're like, ah, oh, when you actually get a bad upgrade, it's the worst thing. It, it really is disappointing. Although in Binding of Isaac, I feel like it balances out well, specifically because you get so many upgrades. Mm -hmm. Now, it might balance okay in Children of Morta because you already have so many per character abilities that I think it probably is okay. Because yeah. in Binding of Isaac, all the characters are basically vanilla. Plus or minus, like, one very specific ability. Start with some bombs. Yeah, and then other than that, it just, like, changes the stats a little bit. Yeah. I think you just poisoned all of those with your Phantom Knives? Yeah, boy. Holy. Yeah, the, the like, get him, get him, get him. things. Shadow, shadow. Ooh, that would be good. I should do that. You should do that with shift. The button is shift. I think I, I think I might. <laughs> Dude. It's fine. Like, you wouldn't have gotten hit by either of those had you done the thing I said. Dead. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ah! Yeah. Ooh, that's ah, sad ah. Uh, This blue light over here, maybe that's just mist. That kind of freaks me out a bit. Whoop. Let's not let you hit me. Are you killing them in one hit now? Uh, no, but I'm getting close. Because it oh, seems like I'm you do one extra hit point every time you gain a level or something like that. It's something like no, that. No, it's I don't not know exactly it's, like it's, that. Yeah, I don't think it's exactly that, but it's it's close anyway. It, but it's just enough to where, um, it's just enough to where you, you, if you ever get enough to kill something in one hit earlier than you normally would. Mm-hmm. That's when you start to see that that benefit, right? Because if uh, if your opponent has uh, ten health and you deal seven damage both times, then you're killing him in two hits. If you deal five damage in two hits or uh, five damage each hit, then it's still taking you two hits. But the moment you get to ten damage, that's when there's that big upgrade. And so for games like this, where their damage is very crunchy, it's all about those like it, 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 slow progressive upgrades that will eventually make a huge difference. Absolutely. Systems design. So fun. Oh, there's so many more. Oh, you're fine. Up. Everything is good. <laughs> Everything's great. Hey, you're doing a damage now. Nice. Get out of here. Get out of here. I dodged? Yes, uh, that does happen occasionally. Wow. Right? I did not expect that. Mm -hmm. Although, I, I guess if any character were going to, going to do that, it would probably be Kevin. Uh... Hey! One of our favorites. <laughs> Electrocalypse? Electrocalypse. Oh, that's probably how you say it. Yeah, probably. Uh, all right, okay, so you got all of the doors you can Yeah, I to. haven't opened, like, any of them. Oh, boy. Oh, all the poison. Is it 100% chance to poison? Uh, the fire was definitely 100%. I think that it's the same for you, and this, like, with the, with the poison. That's awesome. Free, free damage, reliable damage. That's great. Yeah, it is it is really awesome, especially when it's like you deal enough damage to take them almost down to no health, and then the poison just like finishes them off. Yep. Once again, stacking that those few extra hits that you could possibly kill them by, because the earlier things, uh, the earlier that they, that things are not on the field attacking you, the less damage you will take overall. Yep. But that's just a little bit of. I don't know. The meta theory. You know, Red monster. The acid monster so much as like the little flame ball guys. The at, see the the acid monster is way worse for uh for for, Jay, for James John. John. <laughs> I would agree because he's he's slower. Yeah. So he he 
I mean, even his attacks are slower, right? So, like, as he's... Well, now I just have to sit here and wait. Which can, I wish the, the acid would go away after you killed the red monster. Well, all the effects seem to last a little bit long afterward. Yeah. And that is, that is kind of a kind of a thing that's a little annoying. I like, mean, having to sit there and wait. Some of them, it, it's not so big of a deal. Like, the little, like, prisma, prisma laser things. Like, it's annoying, but ultimately, like, it's fine. Because after you move off to another area, they stop mattering. Um, yeah. It's just one more opportunity for you to get hit and take it's, damage. That's true. But, like, the acid pools especially, they literally will block your path, um, which that, I would say, causes problems because then you get players that just have to sit and wait. And that's, yeah. that's not fun. And, like, honestly, I think the simple solution is just to make the pools dissolve, um, if at least faster, once the red monster is killed. Yeah, because I, I suppose if you just wanted to keep them on, dead area. I suppose if you just wanted to keep them on, um, like just in case, like you want to uh, trick the player into running into them again, mm -hmm. uh, make it shorter. Though I agree, like if you're not going to make them go away immediately, make it a shorter time because yeah. because if nothing is happening, then you know, then you are just kind of stuck there unless you can, you know, just walk around it. But uh, the, uh, oh, puppy, that's a thing. Puppy, they fix the cub, kill him. Just kill him. Why are you taking so long? Get that pussy. Nice! Any yes! Purposes of healing. It is I don't know if that's going to fix him or not. But any skilled homemaker can extract the important but part without harm. Oh. But either way, it's, it's still it's, a thing. It's a thing. It's a somethings. Uh, <laughs> it is a somethings. It's a somethings. So maybe when we go back to the house, we can see the puppy we can actually see what the get out of there does. prisms oh boy oh boy oh there are prisms. Just, you should just oh should, i told you to get out of there <laughs> there were even more though than i thought <laughs> you so good all right oh, good. i cut you so good you're gonna wish i didn't cut you so good cut, 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 cut. yeah boss okay so the prisms did disappear at least i guess maybe whenever they were lingering it was that they had recently been spawned so they just like took a while to fade you know what, I feel like there's probably a lot of rogue players out there. Um, I don't mean the game rogue, I mean like just people who like to play rogues in games that are yelling at you right now. Probably. Because you're not uh, doing the one thing that the rogue does best. The stealth. Attacks first. Yep. The I rogue, like to the save rogue it gets for the first when I need it most. That's I fair. Guess, but like, it... the cost of using it is actually pretty low. Um, yeah. So, really, I guess I don't have a good excuse to not use it more often. But, I mean, those big groups of enemies, next time you should try doing the shadow step and just holding on to the button. Yeah, I need to use that more often. That's a really neat ability. It's just, it takes, it's like, you have to train your brain to get used to it. Exactly. As I said, for some reason, I was really good at remembering all my resources with Linda. I think that's because everything I had was, like, area of effect, like, get away from me. And mm -hmm. she needed to use those. Ooh. 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 Nice. Crits all around. So many crits. Crits, crits for crits. days. Crits, Chris. <laughs> Critical Chris. Yee. <laughs> oh. These spiders have so much health, though. Yeah, the big ones oh, are. No. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. New this red is not monster. a good spot to Shad be. Shade, shadow. Oh, no, 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 no. Not more. Do not want more. Do not want. Do not want. Nice. Oi. I got the potion. Throw the max. Throw the maxes. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Double potion. Double and potion wait for the, the acid what does it to mean? end. Double potion. <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> oh, if nobody knows that, they're going to be like, what is Chris even doing? Can you get to the boss soon? Because this episode's almost over. Well, maybe the boss will have to happen in the next episode. Uh, or we can make this a long one. If this is our last one for this recording session, we can just stretch this one out. Um, because I'm really, really curious to see what ooh, what the uh, the mushroom is going to do. Or even the, the mysterious egg, right? Like, there's a lot of stuff. Right, you got a lot of things this uh, run through. Dude, it's just, I'm just better than you. Uh, you're also, like, two levels higher, and that's because of the golden egg. I think that's what that did. I think, think I'm so? pretty sure you gained two levels back to back. Because you were level nine, I was level seven by the end. I don't know. I'm also really good at killing monsters. <laughs> whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. Hashtag whatever. 
All right. Don't put it up there. I don't care. Everyone's <laughs> <laughs> like, why does he keep putting hashtags up? What do they even, like... This isn't Twitter, it's YouTube. <laughs> I don't think they realize this it doesn't work to a thing. <laughs> no, 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 dodge! Oh. 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 oh God damn, that's so beautiful! Oh, it's worth spending. I didn't. Did I even spend my MP on that? I oh, like it doesn't look like it did. MP. Oh my God, amazing. is it just part of your like shadow ability? I hope so. Maybe it makes it have a longer cooldown. That yeah, I could actually see that because it does feel like it's taking a little bit long. But I don't know how long it normally takes. I, so. I think normally it does take a decent bit of time anyway. But you never know, man. Yeah, you're definitely killing the uh, the purple. Uh, Guys inflatable faster. heads there and <laughs> killing them in like heads. three hits when it used to take you four to five yeah oh boy is this it are we good we're good yep here it is all right so uh next episode then yeah okay cool yeah i think this i i'm gonna be a lot slower at this boss battle than you were so uh you'll probably have more opportunity to attack that's true okay so question of the day mm -hmm. um what was the prominent thing we talked about i feel like we talked about a few things um, um, the red monster abilities, I think, is is one thing that. Came oh up. yeah, okay, that's that's a good one. I mean, what do you guys think about the the red monster abilities kind of taking a little while to phase out after the red monster is dead? Yeah. Um, if you don't know what we mean by red monsters, the monsters with the special like mm -hmm. ability, like the magical monsters, I guess, the ones with the red halo. Yeah. Um, I know in some games they usually. They'll, they'll do attacks like that. Some games, they only just power up the enemies here, mm -hmm. though. Yeah, uh, like old they style deal Gauntlet, damage. Old style Gauntlet, some of them would just make all of the monsters around them invincible until you killed them. Oh my. So, Gauntlet is mean. Gauntlet is so mean. So, uh, you know, are, have you, from what you've seen from those abilities, the acid pull, the prisms, the um, ice, whatever, the mm -hmm. uh, runes, um, glyphs on the ground, uh, also, on, uh, in addition to his question, how can you, uh, wh what would you suggest to do with those types of creatures, or if anything at all? You mean like what kind of abilities would you give yeah, them? Yeah, what kind of abilities would you give them? Do you think that they're a little too tough? Do you think that they're too easy? <laughs> That's fair. If you think you're too easy, then you're mean. Yeah, probably. Most game designers are mean, though. <laughs> it's true. Cool. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Be sure to vote if you want to watch more Children of Morta, and, uh... Check out the Facebook page, too, if you want to see behind-the-scenes clips. I got nothing. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching, everybody. He said it all. What do you want from me? I'd... What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? <laughs> More songs is what we want from you. Oh, man. <laughs>